Somebody sent me a very interesting video this past week. Imagine a person was born around 1900. By the time that individual turned 14, the world was engulfed in war. World War I went from 1914 until 1918. So those teenage years were marred by the war, especially if one lived in Europe, Eastern Europe. In 1918, there was a pandemic. We can relate to that. And it was a very serious pandemic. It could be up to 100 million people passed away during the years between 1918 and 1920. As this person now is in a young adulthood, towards the end of the decade, we have the stock market crash of 29 and the Great Depression. In 1933, Adolf Hitler, Yamach Shemo, rises to power, and by the end of that decade, we have another world war from 1939 until 1945. By the time that war ends, this person is at mid age, midlife. Then what? We could say the Korean War, 50 to 52, the Vietnam War, don't forget the social unrest in the mid to late 60s, the riots, we can also relate to that. It's a lot to deal with. My grandparents were from that era. They were born around the turn of the century. My Rosh Hashiva Rav Ruderman Zatzal, who I speak about frequently, he was born in 1900. Interestingly enough, all through the years that I knew them, I never heard them complain and tell me about how hard life was during World War I and the Depression, World War II, etc. I never heard them talk about the pandemic, which is very interesting. The point is that our generation perhaps hasn't really been tested. Thank God we haven't seen war and we haven't dealt with pandemics. And 50 years ago was the social unrest for many of us. We weren't around. If we were, we were young. So I guess the idea of the video was that we have to have perspective. Having said that, if we're looking for some chizuk and encouragement, I think the metaphor for this situation is really a war. We're facing a war. There is an enemy. We're facing difficult times. The virus is out there. And that is the subject of this week's Parsha. Matos, also we have Masse. But B'nai Yisrael have to go to war. Elif Lamate, Elif Lamate. The Midrash Tanchuma says that everybody had to be represented. If a thousand were the soldiers who were going to war, you had a thousand who were back on the home front, you had a thousand who were davening. Everybody took part. And the whole idea of a soldier is that you take it a day at a time, maybe half a day at a time, maybe a moment at a time. But you have the conviction that I have to do my duty. We'll get through this. I hope Hashem will protect me. I hope I'll be able to return home to safety. I'm not going to lose my nerve, my courage. I'm going to face it. We have to tunnel through. And that's really where we are. It doesn't matter if we have to dive in outside. We're already talking about the Yom Naraim. If we have to rent a larger tent and have air conditioning, so be it. We'll dive in. And we'll have Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. If the services will be shorter, so be it. If we have to cover the shofar with a face mask, and I kid you not, so be it. We'll be Yosei the Mitzvah. We'll get through Yantuf. We'll get through all of this because we're going to soldier on. Hashem is watching over us. Don't forget the Pasuk. Elav Arechem, Velav Asusim. The enemy might have the chariots and the different forms of weapons. We have Hashem, we're going to keep davening, we're learning, we're going to be able to get through this. But if we need to remind ourselves the perspective that others have faced worse and the fact that a soldier, and we're all soldiers right now, we're going to follow our commands, we're going to do what we have to do, that's the way it's going to be. But we're going to get through it we're going to be strong. At the end of the war with Midian, the Pasuk says, Velo nitkat mehem ish. No one was lost. And Halavai, that should be the outcome. No one should be lost. No one should lose their sense of positivity. It should all be for the best. We'll be strong. We'll get through this. I wish everyone a good Shabbos.